This meeting is being recorded. Uh, whoever wants to fire away with the first one, lads, please feel free. Just to just get your reaction. That was an amazing night. Just can you sum up the night? Um, yeah, listen again. It's 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 to go through and that tie was. Um, a big result for us. Um, after the first leg, it gave us belief that we'd be able to compete against them. Um, we came out here, listen, Joe and Ang's made a few great saves during the game, but we had a few chances ourselves. So um, I suppose when you get to, to extra time and then penalties, it's, a, it's sort of a lottery. And we could have won it uh, with Tom Gravosti, and then he misses. Um, keeper makes a great save. Um, and then the other couple of lads took great penalties, and then um, their lad missed it. So listen, we're delighted. I'm fair to say the better side have gone through. I mean, there was a lot of talk about it beforehand, but you feel you're, you're deserved the better side and you deserve your place in the next round? I think, listen, we, we certainly deserve our our, um, uh, our place in the next round. I thought over the boat legs we played well. Um, they were obviously a lot better tonight than they were um, last week in our place, but there could have been travel arrangements and whatnot. So, um, no, well, listen, we're, we're obviously delighted to go through and now. Our focus changes to Sunday uh, at home to Waterford in the Cup and then we'll worry about next Thursday after that. That's it, I mean, you, you can't really prepare, but you, you know what's ahead of you now. I mean, how, I presume the flight home, you're looking already, looking at that, at Sophia and you're, you're thinking already? Yeah, that's what's going to be. Uh, we're obviously thinking of, uh, we'll travel home first thing in the morning. Um, we'll just set off from the hotel at maybe five o'clock in the morning. Um, the lads will have a rest tomorrow, we'll be in training on Saturday and then we'll prepare for Waterford in the Cup on, on Sunday and then um, we'll obviously sort out the travel arrangements, but we know it's going to be a, a big ask for us out in um, Sofia next week. But it's another one that we'll get recovery into the legs and we'll go out there and give the best go we can. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Ado. Anyone else, lads? Paul O'Hare. Yeah, Tim. Just a word. Just a word on Joseph. Joseph and Ang, um, Some of those saves you made. Yeah, listen. Joe has been excellent since he came from West Ham, and he's having a brilliant season. He's he's, he's getting exposure now to to big games like this that you don't get in the. Under 23 is over in England, and it's a uh, it's a loan that's been really beneficial to him. And listen, we've no doubt that we know it's a it's a loan and it's temporary. And after us, Joel go on to have an, an amazing career. So um, for as long as he's here, we're we're um, delighted to see him uh, progress and improve and uh, get to express himself. And some of the saves he made during the during the game, the 90 minutes and extra time were were exceptional. And then he saved one of the penalties as well. So um, yeah, listen, he, he's been brilliant since he came in. He's a great kid as well. I mean, I know it's very hard to single out one player in a penalty shootout when quite a few of them have scored. But just, just Joe's stepping up coolly to take the what what proved to be a decisive one. He's a a wise head on young shoulders, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's uh, he's another one's had a, a brilliant season for us, and um, obviously the keeper makes a great save from Tom. When if he scores, we win, and then they score, we score. And you, you can look at like Jay McLennan as well coming on and. As cool as you like, slotting it in the corner. Serge taking his penalty well. The, the lot of the lads did so. Um, but yeah, when when you when uh, Joe uh, Redmond stepped up as well and put the ball uh, to keep it the wrong way and scored. Um, listen, they gave us the little little foothold in the penalty shootout, and then obviously the pressure got to the to their final fella. And listen, thankfully we're through. What was it like, just your, in, in your own words, for yourself watching the penalty shootout? Uh, helpless. You feel helpless. You're standing there, so you're 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 wanting, um, you're wanting someone to miss, and you're wanting your lads to score. So, um, yeah, you feel out of control. Feel helpless. But listen, um, again, the fact that uh, we've managed to, to get the penalty shootouts as well <coughs> with the travelling over um, yesterday. Uh, the heat was pretty warm today before the game um, and during the game as well. And it's another 120 minutes now that the lads have had in their legs, and um, it's shown the fitness levels of the squad and. Again, we kept, uh, sorry, utilised a lot of the squad with making changes tonight, and obviously everyone had a had a positive impact on the pitch. Maybe a ridiculous question to ask after you've got through, but did you feel that maybe some of the attacks that you had, that maybe in and around the final third, could have been a little bit more decisive? Decisive. Yeah, again, it's something we spoke about um, in the team meeting before we left the hotel this evening. Was uh, just a. Uh, Picking up the right areas, and then it's just decision making and execution. And I thought a few times we did probably let ourselves down a little bit. Maybe the, the pass was um, too far, or got cut out, and maybe we shot when we should have passed, and passed when we should have shot. So, but that's a, that's another positive that we're getting into them positions, um, and we have willing runners beyond. And um, once we keep getting into them positions, uh, eventually the the right decisions, the right execution will will, will come off, and we'll uh, we'll win games. 
Thank you, Tim. Cheers, well Cheers, done. Paul. Thank you. John Fallon, how are you? Yeah, just good. Jamie, Tim, well done. Cheers, Jamie. Um, just, just a brief. When you mentioned it was aftermath last week, that you felt the underestimated you. Um, did you find you got more respect this time round? Well, they changed their formation this evening, so they tweaked things and um, they made a few personnel changes as well. Um, and listen, they've had chances themselves today, but I don't think there was a great deal between either side today. Um, and again, I, I think probably they did uh, to a degree. Might have <coughs> sorry, might have uh, come in last week and looked at it and said, "Yeah, listen, we just have to get this out of the way and get it to the next round." And um, we showed them tonight, even when we're under a lot of pressure, we've, we've, we've players like Joe Redmond and. Harry Brockbank and Tom Gravosti at the back three were, were, were excellent and heading and clearing and tackling and everything else. So, um, yeah, listen, it's another one. I think they, they, they had a lot more respect for us this evening and I'd say they'll probably have more for us after the game. Great, thanks, lads. Cheers, John. Thanks, John. Anyone else for Tim, lads? Joe Redmond's just walked in, so I can jump him straight in if you'd like. Yeah, okay, right, thank you, sir. Cheers, guys. Thanks a million.